This past weekend, I was able to head out to the thrift store by myself, which these days means with a newborn, but just me and him headed out and I was able to score some awesome deals. My local thrift store was having 50% off and I found some amazing things for this upcoming fall season. It has been far too long since I have been able to take you guys thrifting with me and I also just kind of filmed a little bit as I was shopping of things that caught my eye that I wanted to share but I didn't necessarily want to purchase and bring home. I'm trying to be very intentional about what I bring into our home. I want to really specifically have a place to put it or if it's clothing my kids are gonna wear you know pretty soon things like that so I'm gonna share with you what I did bring home but also the things that caught my eye and kind of interspersed them together throughout this video so like I said I definitely had fall in mind as I was shopping because I am super excited as you all know as many of you feel as well fall is just the best time of year and I am so so excited so one of the first things I picked up was this platter it's a really nice big size and it was $9.99 but like I said my thrift store was 50% off so it was $5 which is a little high for a thrift store in my opinion but I loved the shape of it I love the coloring on it and the details and I specifically had in mind I'm actually hosting a baby shower for my sister this fall so i just thought this would be a great piece for really any fall serving or entertaining or anything like that bringing something somewhere to share so that was one of the first things i grabbed another thing i picked up with kind of my husband in mind but also just you know all of us in the house can use is this really adorable mug with the little dog on it and some sort of quail or pheasants or something we actually got him a mug for father's day that unfortunately got broken a few months ago so this was kind of a replacement mug for him and it was only one dollar with the 50 percent off i thought that this kind of pewter turkey serving spoon was so lovely but we don't host thanksgiving so i left it but it was only 250 and then in the basket section, I saw this really cute scalloped lidded basket, but getting the basket top off was kind of awkward. And then I saw this one that was totally open on the side. What do you think you would use that for? I really have to restrain myself. I think I say this in every thrift haul when it comes to kids books, because I really could just go crazy. I love kids books. I love that my kids are readers and they just, fly through books. So we do try to utilize the library more so that we don't have to physically keep a lot of books and we also try to donate ones that we do own that, you know, we just kind of outgrow. I just did a quick glance over in the book section. I grabbed two. This one is just a book about the famous presidents. An overview of some of some, you know, older presidents and I don't even know where it goes up to. I think JFK. So it's kind of not all of them, but just a little, little history. And then I saw this one and I had to grab it. The little old lady who is not afraid of anything. I do love having seasonal books for my kids that I pack away and I only bring out so that they're special for, you know, different times of the year. So we're going to add that one to our collection. This vintage croquet set was so cute. I would totally have gotten it, except for the fact that they were asking $95. So even at half off, that was a little bit too much. And then I really love these outdoor planters. We do have a set, but these were a great find. I really love these two preserved leaf wreaths, but I wasn't sure if they would hold up in storage. And this planter was really cute. I did find a few awesome kid clothing items. So I picked up this jacket for my son, one of my sons. It is so cute with the plaid lining. It is a polo Ralph Lauren jacket and I just love the little detailing. There's like a little, you know, button closure there and there's some buttons on the back to kind of like cinch it in a little bit and there's pockets and it's just so adorable and you know, hopefully something I can pass along to our baby when he gets older this was 2.99 so i paid a dollar 50 for this adorable jacket that is going to last hopefully quite a few years 
My one daughter is super into gymnastics that I've mentioned before, so I picked her up a little leotard just for like playing dress up. And of course I'll be washing everything. That was $5, so I paid $2.50 for it. So I think well, as soon as she saw it, she wanted to put it on right away, but I said I have to wash it first before you can wear it, but she was so excited. I also picked up a Speedo brand bathing suit, and this is so adorable with the sort of tie-dye colors. And Speedo is a great brand, it can be very pricey, but I paid $4 for that, and that will be for next summer. Also for my boys, I picked up some gloves. I do have some more like thicker winter like snow gloves, but these are just kind of like when it starts to get cold, a little pair for my older son and then a couple mittens. Brand new, these were never worn from Old Navy. I paid $1.50 for the mittens and these were $1. Some other kids clothes that I passed on was this knitted one piece romper thing. It was really cute and it was only $1.50, but he wouldn't wear it for about a year and a half. So I decided just to leave it there. Kind of the same with these PJs. I thought they were really cute but they wouldn't be worn for quite some time. And hey, if anyone wanted to dress like Miss Frizzle for Halloween, this is the perfect dress. This wooden horse barn was also really cute. We don't have many that are this size, and I thought these little rockers were cute, but they were kind of big and bulky. Also for my son for next summer, I did get him a bathing suit. This is a Hurley bathing suit, so it has the little Hurley pattern on this side. His that he wore this summer is so muddy and just, it's done. I mean, he'll probably outgrow it by next summer anyways, but he, he definitely uh, lived his best life in it. And I only paid $1.50 for this one. I also picked him up a pair of shorts, which I almost passed on, but I just really love the pattern. It's hard to find boys clothes with like cute details because a lot of times they're just very basic. And these are from Cat and Jack and they were only a dollar that I paid. If anything, I'll just save them for his little brother. And then lastly for my toddler boy, I just got him a pair of black jeans. These are Old Navy. I paid $1 for them. You cannot pass that up. And then I also found this Gap Kids shirt. It was brand new from Gap and it was $7. So I paid $3.50 for it and I just love anything that's navy and I've definitely passed that love on to my kids and this just has some really sweet detailing on the neckline and the top is a little bit sheer-ish and then it just goes into really soft cotton on the bottom and it was brand new with the sticker still on it so I thought that was a great find. I grabbed some pajamas for my older daughter which are hard to find let me tell you it's hard to find cute pajamas for you know older kids that are not like polyester, that are actual cotton. So I did pick up just this Wonder Nation t-shirt, so this was just probably from Walmart. I paid $2 for it, and it just has whales and a narwhal on it and little facts about whales. It's not necessarily a sleep shirt, but that's kind of how I intended it for her. And then I found this set, I paid $4 for it. The brand is Vopa Weddy. I've never heard of that but it's just a really sweet cotton set with flowers and it came with some pants to go with it and those will be perfect. I'll probably put those, I mean, she could wear them in the winter. They're not very wintry, but my thought was to put those away until springtime. I thought this vanity was so gorgeous. There were so many pretty details. Not that I have anywhere to put something like this, but it was really pretty. It was in pretty rough condition though. I don't know if it would even be salvageable, but maybe for somebody. And then I really liked this under the bed rolling storage, but it was missing a wheel, but it was a kid craft. So you know that's gonna be good quality. And then I just have a thing for little wooden vintage chairs. I thought this one was so cute. At half off, it was only $5, but we didn't need it. And then my last two finds were definitely by far my favorite finds of the day. I was just so excited. This like made the whole trip absolutely worth it. So the first thing I found, brand new, in the packaging with the original advertising here, it was $15.99, so what? I paid $8 for this 100% wool tartan plaid throw blanket, which 
I have just been wanting forever, forever and ever. I do have one that's more of like a cream background that you may have seen on my channel um, that I also thrifted, but this one is in perfect condition. Absolutely perfect. All the fringe is perfect. I mean, I don't know if it was ever used. It was in its original packaging, but just how perfect for Christmas time or just fall time in general. Oh my gosh, I was so thrilled to find this, just to drape it over a couch or just so many things you could do with it. So I was thrilled to find this one. I always love checking out the dishes and seeing what sets are available or just individual pieces. I thought this Christmas set was really pretty. It was from Target originally. And then I think my mom has this set with the pine cones. It's lovely, but there was just only a couple. And then I really like these Christmas mugs, but we have a set of Santa mugs that we use, but I just thought those were lovely. And then this vintage floral I thought was so pretty and so timeless with the kind of gray floral and the gold trim. That could totally be used now and for $25 that was a good deal. I really liked these sort of quilted runners. I don't really like to put a runner on my table but I thought maybe I could have turned that one into pillows or something. But I decided just to leave them there. And then the red one was actually a tree skirt, which we don't need, but it was really pretty. And then in the other blanket section is where I found something that I did bring home that you can see in my cart there. But I also loved this burgundy. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but it was very pretty. And then the last thing that I picked up is this gorgeous Pottery Barn quilt. And I'm pretty sure that it is either linen or a linen cotton blend. I don't know for sure because some of the tags were cut out, but I could see that it was from Pottery Barn. It is huge and heavy. I'm pretty sure it's a king size because it definitely hangs over the side of our bed and we have a queen size bed. I paid $8 for this quilt. I did already wash it and dry it. It has cooled down a lot over here. We had it on our bed last night and it was so cozy and that was definitely the find of the day. And then I do actually have one more bonus secondhand item to share with you. I didn't get it at the thrift store, but it's right here behind me. Can you tell I've been on like a cozy fall blanket theme this year? So I actually found this amazing throw blanket on Facebook Marketplace, and it was the first time I ever did a, you know, buying and then they ship it to you. It wasn't a local pickup. And it was originally from Threshold, from Target. It was brand new in the packaging, and it was only $10. And then I don't remember how much I paid in shipping, maybe like $3, maybe $5. Um, but it was, again, from Threshold. I think it was from, let's see, quarter three of 20. So this was from last fall at Target and it's just so cozy. My daughters are already like in love with it and curling up with it on the couch. And the color is so perfect for especially our home here in the living room because we do have like navies and this beautiful hunter green going on. And I just love how something as simple as a throw blanket, just, you know, you put it on a chair and right away, like it just feels cozy and welcoming and fall-ish. So, that was another amazing find. And now it is your turn to show me what amazing secondhand finds you can come up with this fall season because I am bringing back the $5 Goodwill challenge for fall 2021, of course, because fall is the best season and I have just been so missing this challenge and so many people have asked me if I'm gonna keep doing it and we just kind of took a little break there, but I am excited to get back to it. So if you are new to my channel and you don't know anything about the Goodwill Challenge, I will explain it in just a second. But if you are well aware of the Goodwill Challenge rules and setup, the day to share is going to be Friday, September 24th, and we will all share on the same day what we find for $5 or less to decorate our homes for this fall season. So if you are new and you don't know about the Goodwill Challenge, this is something that I have or had been hosting seasonally for the past, I don't even know how long, maybe seven, six, seven years. And it's where you take $5 and you go to your local thrift store, a 
you know, a yard sale, a garage sale, a rummage sale, a, you know, Facebook marketplace, wherever you can find something second hand and spend $5 or less on the item and bring it into your home to decorate for the season. So of course this is the fall season. You can do something autumnal. You could do something that is Halloween related, whatever you want to do, just use that item and either leave it as is. You could do a DIY to it and change it in some way, or you can just use it in a room in addition to other items to just share whatever decor you want to share for the season. And then we all upload on the same day. Like I said, it's going to be Friday, September 24th. You don't need to send me anything to approve. You just upload a video to your channel and share what you found to decorate for the fall season. I didn't find anything on this trip for the Goodwill Challenge, but I definitely plan to go back again a couple times until I find just the right thing to share with you guys on that day. So if you are excited and you would like to participate, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know that that is something that you're gonna be looking for and I just, I cannot wait to go and see what you guys find. So if you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content or the Goodwill Challenge coming up soon. And I'll be talking to you soon. Take care, guys.